Hi, I'm Evan Jacobs with a sort of secret comedy. This is my apartment. Here are my roommates. Uh, <laughs> I'm Brian Bruder, and this is my other roommate. Hey, I'm Peter Moses. This is actually my apartment, and these are my roommates. Sort of secret is three. Th sort of secret comedy is three roommates that are too lazy to go out and get extra spots and have a living room that's big enough to hold about the same amount of people that would be at any spot, right? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Once I mean, once a month, a show in our living room. That's what sort of secret comedy. And actually, into other weird spots too, right? Like yeah, boxing gyms, laundromats. Uh, well, it's mine. It's mine. yeah, Evan. <laughs> Was sleeping. He was dreaming it, and he 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 shot it to my brain. And actually, Peter and I were sitting in the living room. I had just we were on the stoop. We're, yeah, we were on the stoop, just with smoking, drinking beers, hanging out. And I was like, uh, "Dude, we should we should put it on a show in our living room." And it just like we both kind of looked at each other, like this is so crazy. It it just might work. And we it's not that's not at all how we looked. At yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. We, <laughs> Regardless, we ran upstairs, started, we grabbed the tape measure, and we started pulling measurements throughout the room to like see if the couches would fit a certain way, and if we moved the, you know, the bookshelves this way, and if we, if we put flood lights here, and it took us like a few days to figure out how to do it, and, and we did, and then we, we put out the word, and like our living room was sold out the first the first show, and it's been that way pretty much ever since. Um, you just know, gotta know us. <laughs> we still like you. At, uh, we still like you. And, yeah. And don't ask us to be on it. <laughs> no. Yeah, and that's, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> actually, someone that we like. We uh, that's a the cool thing. Like this is my first show producing, uh, and I've I had a list like fucking st a draft in my Gmail account of comics who I've always wanted to put up on a show and. We've been just, you know, picking up people who we like, and it's fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, I mean, you, I don't know, as you come across people doing spots and hanging out, you find people that you just genuinely think are funny, and you want, like, why not invite them to your living room, and why not invite people who don't do stand-up to come together, and it, it, it's really, like, and our crowd here is very discerning, like, they're, they're, they know what's going on, and, and you can't just, like, wave shiny shit in front of them and, and you know, expect them to laugh, they're... They'll call us out. Yeah, it's, they do. It's they not have. a tough crowd, but like, if you're, I don't know, like if you're a dragon slayer, you should have no problem. Like I sat, all three of us sat at a meeting with the Queen's Council of Arts with like what, all like arts, yeah. yeah, Queen's Council on the Arts, the Queen's Art Express. They asked us to be a part of it, uh, which is a big, huge uh, art festival for the Borough of Queens. I don't know. We like. We're three dudes that just like bust our butts and like hang out and and now we're sitting on a board with like council member representatives and like gallery owners and and we had a a, a model of just being lazy that they they somehow liked. <laughs> people people love the show. I mean, they're like every comic who we've told you know talk about it. They're like, oh, you are the guys who do that show, like. Oh, I heard about that. That's fucking so rad. Like, I, you know, I thought about doing that, but like, they never did it. We just fucking did it, you know, which is kind of gnarly, I think. Boils down to we're the only guys that are willing, we're risking the, like, threat of bed bugs because we're inviting so many fucking strangers that's into everything. our place. Sure. We don't give a fuck about, we're not scared of bed bugs. We don't have they bed bugs. We bed don't bed have bed bugs, currently. actually. We're good. I mean, yeah. Yeah, don't if you bring bed bugs over here, we will, we will we'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Well, I had a buddy in Vegas that put on a show in his backyard. Like, Doug Stanhope came and played his backyard. A bunch of people. Like, if you do anything grassroots and cool, like, if you just do something, like, you just find a room that gives comedy a fighting chance, like, good people will show up. Good comics. And then, and that's, I don't know, it's so easy and sweet that yeah. why wouldn't you? Why, well, I'm sure there's a million people that are that could or should or have thought of this and have executed it we like, have people well, you know offer to do not a million maybe but maybe we, you know we're like well we what we've got's working and you know why fucking move it out because then i'd have to get on the train to do a spot but like maybe maybe <laughs> sort of secret <laughs> comedy 
is to comedy clubs <laughs> is what Napster was to the record industry. Yeah. Maybe you don't need a comedy club. Maybe you can circumvent that whole entire but process. But any comedy clubs want to pay me to perform. Yeah, we're not you know, knocking comedy clubs. Yeah. I will murder these guys. We're just saying, like, we, we have overhead, too, so why not use our overhead to, like, yeah. you know, like, have comedians come in. Like, yeah. But, like, we're, in terms of, of us doing it in a different apartment, like if we're gonna do it in an apartment, we might as well do it in our apartment. Um, there's one thing we don't do any shows at bars, and we don't do comedy clubs. Yeah, that's like that's kind yeah, of our that's thing. That's the rule. Like, well, that wouldn't be hey, secret. Yeah, it wouldn't be sort of secret. You know, yeah. it's like hey, anyone can do that. You know, but that's you. you yeah, I've seen. I don't know. I've been to awesome shows at bars and awesome shows at comedy clubs. I'm not knocking them, but I didn't want to have to be at the mercy of someone who's like, oh well. New manager, I don't like comedy. Get the fuck out when you've built up something for a year and a half. You know, I've seen that happen. And, uh, you know, fuck that shit, man. 